Well, good evening and welcome back to our first Tazay service. Um, it's good to see all of you here and to see new faces. Um, well, if you were here last year, one of the differences you will see is that I used to print the music out on, on our sheets, but now in order to make it a little more convenient and compact, uh, you have blue folders that have the music in them. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, so it's almost like a little humble. Yeah. yeah. And so, and then uh, you'll see the numbers listed next to the song. So, and also, if this is your first time, um, I'll, for each of the songs, I'll be singing it through once, and then I will do my very best to signal to all of you to join in. And for some songs, there are verses, and you'll see how that's marked, and I'll do my best to cue all of you as well. Um, so let us just take a moment to just center ourselves and to come together after this day we had and to just center ourselves in some silent prayer before we start.
Our scripture reading for tonight comes from the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 4, verses 16 through 20. Hear now the word of the Lord. When he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, he went to the synagogue on the Sabbath day, as was his custom. He stood up to read, and the scroll of the prophet Isaiah was given to him. He unrolled the scroll and found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim, to release to the captives, and recovery of the sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. And he rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the attendant, and sat down. And all of the eyes in the synagogue were fixed on him. This is the word of the Lord.
witness to the gospel found in your Son, Jesus Christ, with, the church, with our, your church from many different cultures, nations, and peoples, may we sing your praises. Oh, Lord, hear my prayer. together this day, <clears throat> candles lit, songs sung, words read, in order to help us delve deeper in faith, to release all of that's going on in our minds and allow for the very presence of God who is always with us to be consciously present with us. This meal is one of the ways Christ taught us we can encounter him again and again. It requires us to slow down, <coughs> to pause, and to acknowledge that there is something out there bigger than you and me. It's important for us to understand that we need something more. We need something more than being able to study in school or have fun out in the playground or work or get a paycheck. We need the very essence of God in our lives. And when we open ourselves to that experience, there is a sense of peace and love and hope. Let us pray. Gracious God and Father, we give thanks that you have brought us here tonight. We give thanks for the time and energy that people took to make this space holy. We give thanks for the wonderful catching up that we had during dinner, for the laughter, for the memories and shared stories. And we give thanks that we come here now, Lord, to acknowledge that all of that's important, but you, Lord, are the center of it all. Help us, O oh Lord, to be honest with the things that we are afraid of. Lord, we have not always been living up to what we ourselves want to live up to, and we ask for your forgiveness. Remind us that no matter what we have done, we are your cherished and beloved children. O oh Lord, we ask that you join us in this moment 
to rekindle a sense of our Savior coming into our lives, saying that we are loved and cared for, so that we may be filled with a sense of hope and wonder that gives us the courage to be your children as we leave. At this time, we ask that you take these common elements of bread and juice and that you make them for us the body and blood of Jesus. Allow for this meal to be a sacred moment where we truly acknowledge your presence. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Jesus was with his disciples in uh, a small room about this size with about the same number of people. And after he saw the bread, he broke it and he blessed it. And he gave it to his disciples and he said, Take and eat, for this is my body which has been given up for you. As often as you eat this, do so in memory of me. And in like manner, after the supper was over, he took the cup and he poured it and he blessed it. And he gave it to his disciples and he said, Take and drink, for this is the new covenant sealed in my blood for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you drink this, do so in memory of me. For as often as you eat this bread and you drink this cup, you proclaim Christ's death until he comes again. Oh,
Let us pray. Remind us, O oh Lord, that you are truly a part of our lives, that your Son, Jesus Christ, has filled us with new hope, given us a source of strength called the Holy Spirit that we did not have without you. We pray that you give us the courage and strength to love those who are difficult to love, that you remind us that we are forgiven to the extent that we forgive others, and that this world needs your presence, and you have called us to be your children, your presence in the world. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen.